Novel, Miriam Clady was laid to rest earlier today. Clady was an important mouthpiece that gave voice to the emerging authors and literature of resistance, an inspiration and a firm believer of girl child empowerment. Clady was the recipient of the Order of Ikamanga and was also one of the country's first female writers. <laughs> trailblazer with a dog determination to succeed against all odds. Clady was a writer of note who fought apartheid with a rich body of writing that outlined the history of South Africa. She was denied the chance to study literature as the places were reserved for whites only. May Clady knew that through the power of the words and language that can pass on ideas, we would have instead a thousand flowers blooming. So, South Africa and the whole of the continent Africa has lost a literary giant. Paying their last respects, speaker after speaker, remembered her for her brilliant intellectual achievements and contribution to the development of literature. She was a fierce fighter for girl-child empowerment. A member of the Women's National Coalition, she assisted in driving the preamble to South Africa's Women's Charter and sheltered students from apartheid police. Her lawyer from Kenya recalled how she remained concerned about encouraging writing even towards the end of her life. There is one thing that I always loved about her, is her passion for literature and her passion for knowledge. That is one thing that I found very interesting about her. Clady authored a number of books, including Amandla, which dealt with the 1976 uprising. Her books were banned by the apartheid government. She was saying, Sipo, I don't deserve ours. I want my books to be at schools. Prescribed all my books that were banned during uh, apartheid to the schools. I remember her as a very strong person who wanted to educate, a politically committed person. As a result, a veteran in her own right. President Zuma extended his heartfelt condolences to the family of the literary pioneer. Mama, as she was affectionately known, was laid to rest at the West Park Cemetery. Lehana Tsutetsi, SABC News.